So they had what was called twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome. It's where all the blood and amniotic fluid goes one way from one twin to the other. A high-risk pregnancy with twins has a happy ending. Hear her story. Plus, hyperactivity doesn't necessarily mean ADHD. So what are the warning signs? And is this picture offensive or relatable? Would you post it? It's all ahead on Moms Every Day. We're making mom's life easier one small victory at a time. Moms Every Day, a show made by moms for moms. So a mom blogger posted a picture of her reality online and to let other moms know she has struggles just like they do. And the picture exploded. It went viral in a heartbeat. She was accused of oversharing, and some people thought it was great. That will ever be an image of embarrassment for her. I, I had gone into the bathroom. Everyone was kind of quiet, and I, the, uh, my son wasn't up yet. And I put a basket of toys on the floor in the bedroom, and I tried to have a quiet moment. And you actually can't see all the mess, but there's just a trail of mess from the bedroom into the bathroom. She'd gone through all the cabinets and made her way over to me. And she just wanted to breastfeed. And so... So you did. I to just do it right then and there. No, my husband was up. He was just laying in the bed. And I'm just looking at the trail of mess and me sitting on the toilet and I was just thinking to myself, this is just ridiculousness. Like, <laughs> but it's clearly what motherhood is about. And I had, I had like a mom forum online and a couple of moms I'm always talking to that are like, oh, this ridiculous thing happened today. So I was like, you gotta take a picture of this. I wasn't necessarily thinking in the moment that I would share it. But once I saw the picture, I was like, this is just too perfect. But I actually kind of, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I love this picture. And then we were going shopping for the kids later that day. So I was, right when we got to the shopping center, I was like, you know what? I don't care, I'm just gonna share it. Do you think I should share it, honey? And he's like, I don't care, whatever you want. And so I just uploaded it to Instagram thinking, my mom friends will find this funny. And then apparently it went super viral, super fast. Yeah, it went everywhere. I was shocked. I mean, I have like 400 and something friends on Instagram at the time. A couple people went out of their way to find my photo and write something mean on my photo or tell me I'm disgusting or whatever the case is. But to me, that's their issue, not mine. It was mostly positive. Most moms saying, oh my God, this is me. Even if they're not breastfeeding, I'm in the bathroom and my kids are like the audience every time I go into the bathroom. And I got, I got emails from women literally all over the world. South Africa, Germany, Australia, Brazil, just saying thank you for sharing this. It, it sheds light on what motherhood really is. My thing is whatever works for you and makes everybody happy in your house, that's what you should do. I don't think, oh, you absolutely have to breastfeed or you're a terrible mother. I follow for me and then I just share, this is what happens for me and works for me. And But I didn't want to become like the face of breastfeeding. I didn't think of all of that when, it, when I put it up. I just felt like it captured my life so well. If it helped a mom know that whatever she's doing is okay to get through the day, then I'll do it again a million times over. Hey, we're kind of all trying our best at this and we all mess up and we're all, some of us are really good at some things and some of us aren't. Um, so I hope to just kind of use the platform to keep saying, you're doing an okay job, mom, and that is good. What do you guys think? Relatable or no? Well, I want to know the people complaining about this on social media, are they also the same people saying, go to the bathroom and feed your baby because I don't huh. want to see it? That's I mean, that would she's be a little hypocritical. She's nursing in the photo, yes. True. Yeah. And what that says to me is, is multitasking, yeah. and that's <laughs> what too. we all have done. I mean, seriously, as a mom, yeah. I mean, you do what you have to do to get through the day. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, to be honest, how many of you have, like, 
had a hard time even going to the bathroom when you're watching kids. Right. Well, I think sir. it's definitely relatable. We've all had a cra this. I hope this isn't her norm because that's a really <laughs> sad life if this is a normal day for her. But we've all had those crazy days. I feel like there might have been a little bit reaching for notoriety by posting this picture. And personally, I'd rather not be known as the mom who had her picture taken on the toilet multitasking. So, <laughs> so I think there's other ways to share and help moms. Uh, I don't think this wouldn't be the way for me. Right. Yeah. So is the question, yeah. she shouldn't be doing this period, that's gross, or okay, we've all done this, but let's not post it. I don't know if it's right, sanitary. Yeah. That's what okay. I'm wondering. But the actual action is maybe questionable for some. Yeah. Maybe. So the action of posting maybe is questionable posting, for some. Posting, but... but the, the reality is this is kind of motherhood on many Everyone days. who nurses, right. I nurse really till is. 17 months, and once that baby can walk, she will walk right up and, Mom, yeah. I will. Right. Right. I and that's what I was right. thinking, too. Do you push the child away if you're, you know, there mm -hmm. or what? I mean, it is a reality, I think, for a lot of us. <laughs> well, right. I, I had, I had had twins. Uh, I don't think I ever nursed any of them while sitting on the toilet. I think <laughs> baby waited and I waited till we got to a comfortable spot on the couch. This wasn't ever a reality for me. I, I don't know about you guys. You don't have to right. confess. But I mean, I never had a day that that was that, was that bad. Right. I just think everybody's reality is different. And sure. so if, if you find that relatable, I like I like to know someone else shares my misery. So, because that's pretty relatable to me. I can remember trying to brush my teeth and pee at the same time with the kids in the bathroom. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, you sure. multitask in a lot of different ways. And so for me, that made me feel like I'm not crazy. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Hi, I'm Karen Newberth with your Boys Town Teachable Moment. We often hear that hyperactivity in kids is a sign of ADHD. But as parents, we know that kids are typically pretty active. Some of the other signs of ADHD to look for, impulsiveness, when kids are simply not thinking before acting, and kids having a hard time focusing. When these symptoms start to cause problems in three major areas, school, family, and peer relationships, there may be a risk that the child has ADHD. If there's an impulsive child that um, is making snapshot decisions, but it's not really impairing them and it's not a problem, then I would think that would be more typical. If they're exhibiting those symptoms at a much higher rate than their same age peers and we're seeing impairment in one or more of those areas, then I think we're seeing some red flags for the disorder. The signs that a child may need help? When your kids are having trouble at school and they can't complete their work and have difficulty staying on task, if they're having a hard time making and keeping peer relationships at school. Sometimes it causes them to be excluded by their peers. Families are having trouble just completing daily routines because the behavior is getting in the way. All of these signs can negatively impact the child's self-worth, so they get frustrated, become emotional, and are not motivated. It is something that needs to be responded to quickly. So if you have a suspicion, get a referral from the pediatrician to a child psychologist who can help. Thanks for watching this Boystown Teachable Moment. For more information, check our website at boystown.org. Coming up, are you running yourself ragged trying to keep up with arts and crafts and Pinterest projects? Yes. I cannot keep up with the Pinterest mom. No. I can't. Yeah. Right. Meet our panelists. Pam Towser, Moms Every Day, writer and producer and mother of two. Erica Lewis Mansfield, journalist and mother of three. Monique Dare of MomActivists.com and mother of two. Jennifer Davidson, president of the Nebraska Council on Economic Education, mother to one and stepmother of three. Annie Payne, Moms Every Day host in Grand Junction and mother of three. Out here, success isn't about doing it all on your own. It's about defying gravity as a team. Getting to the top one hand at a time. And it's about knowing someone's always got your back. This is my Be a Part of Something Bigger badge. With hundreds of badges to earn, scouts learn the best part of success is the journey. Find your troop at BeASCOUT.org. Someone had fun today. Hey, sweetheart, everything okay? 
Yeah, everything's fine. How's our little guy? Now I lay me down to sleep. Looks like I'm stuck working late tonight. Probably won't be long until closer to eight. Oh, that's okay. I've got a laundry list of emails to send out. I pray I the Lord day. my soul to keep. Yeah, you did great. We had so much fun today. If I die before I wait. <laughs> If your business has experts who can help make mom's life easier, we want to hear from you. Join the Moms Everyday community of more than 1,000 experts across the country and help elevate your business as a local solution for local parents. To become a partner, email us at joinus at momseveryday.com. Like a home, sometimes a family can use some improvement. Trying to make all the pieces fit together? Wondering if you have the right tools? If your family improvement project isn't going the way you'd like, Call the Boys Town National Hotline at 1-800-448-3000 or visit parenting.org. For problems, big or small, the Boys Town National Hotline can give you the tools you need to bring your family together. Life's most precious moments are the small victories. Each memory, each moment is important. Moms Every Day understands the small victories and the moments that come when you least expect them. Moms Every Day is more than a website, more than a TV show, and we're more than an app. We're a community of parents like you with solutions, answers, and ideas to share. Moms Every Day, making mom's life easier, one small victory at a time. Look at me. Hey. Raymond, look at mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe it's a phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. I don't consider myself a really crafty person, but I just spent a whole day, a whole day of my life cleaning out my craft closet. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. As I was going through all the pictures and, and uh, all the tools and things that I've bought over the years, I can't believe the amount of money that I've spent on it. Yeah. And now, I mean, I really regret it because I don't think I have a lot to show for it. Do we feel as moms the obligation to craft? Do I mean, are you guys stressed that way? out? I get for Valentine's <laughs> Day and like Valentine's getting the Day. Valentine's oh Day cards gosh. just right. Right, right. I, I spend so much time like googling what the best like can, right. can, can punching craft holes could so be. The like, can go through oh in the right my spot. And, yes. uh, can we blame Pinterest? <laughs> really? Right. Yes. I cannot keep up with the Pinterest moms. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, no, I've can't. crafted just to make friends. There was this lady <laughs> in my neighborhood, and she was into the card making. And I'm like, I got to get in with this lady. Yeah. I got to do the cards. I ended up spending $35 a month for two years just to be friends with this woman. Oh, and then she moved away oh. and forgot my name. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, there's a lot of money to be spent in this crafting. And I'll tell you what, I used to do that when my daughter was much, much smaller. So first grade, second grade. Then I really got over it really quick. Cause you know what? I'm super busy and I can take five bucks and go to Michael's and buy whatever and it's done. Oh, for sure. Right. So sometimes it is for saving money, but sometimes people are willing to spend more money than it would be to go buy a cheap Absolutely. Valentine's box because they right. want to do it. You know, so you got to kind of balance out the time you have and the priorities. And some people love crafting and it is a form of art. It right. is. Yes. 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 Stages too. Like my yeah. kids went through stages where they loved it, and we had really awesome quality time together sure. doing little crafty projects. Uh -huh. But then they moved on, and I was still crafting. <laughs> and, so, yeah. and lots of problems. And lots of, I was a problem crafter. Some moms get really carried away. I mean, 
I don't know if it's a craft per se, but I saw a birthday cake with a train running through it. Like, on wow. actually one moving? Of, the train was moving. Oh, oh wow. my gosh, oh, stop talking. And so, is that for the kid? Or, I don't yeah. know. Or is it yes. a thing with moms in it? Right, and think how much that thing. must be. Are we moms? trying to yeah. impress our friends' moms? Right. Or are we doing right. it to make memories right. and growing opportunities right. for our children? Because, do you think the kids notice? Like, if you put stickers on their lunch bag and write special notes on each thing, I think my kids probably. It probably sat on the wrong side and they never even saw it, right? <laughs> Hi, my name is Heidi Fish, and I am the mother of identical twin girls, Alita and Lucy. So they did an ultrasound at 20 weeks, everything looked great. Um, and then at 24 weeks, we went in for our next ultrasound. Um, that's when they were gestationally different sizes, and they found Alita's heart defects at that point. Um, so they had what was called twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome. It's where all the blood and amniotic fluid goes one way from one twin to the other. Um, so the recipient twin's organs get overloaded from all the extra fluid and blood and trying to process it, and then the donor twin becomes becomes very deprived of, of what it needs to survive. Um, so I was put on bed rest and they um, started watching us on a daily basis, watched Alita's heart to make sure she was handling things and um, that, you know, because twin to twin can be fatal, so they wanted to make sure that they were still surviving. Um, and then I also got um, preeclampsia, so it became this balance of keeping them in as long as possible. Um, for their, you know, development, but then also keeping me safe and keeping Alita safe and everything like that. So they were actually born um, at 29 weeks. Lucy here was um, two pounds, 10 ounces, and Alita was one pound, eight ounces. Lucy, the bigger one, was in for about 55 days, so just under two months. And then Alita was in for a little over 100 days, um, so a little over three months. And then we came home for about two and a half weeks, and then we went down to Milwaukee um, at the Children's Hospital for Alita to have open heart surgery. She ended up having a couple heart surgeries. Um, she had a permanent pacemaker, a G-tube. Um, we were down there for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. We were down there for almost two months. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a bit of a challenge to start off with. <laughs> My husband Brian and I have an amazing relationship um, that really made a huge difference because we were able to, you know, lean on each other and grow our relationship even more versus it kind of driving us apart because that type of situation can drive a wedge in a marriage. Um, we had really great family support. Um, you know, we were staying at the Ronald House when we were down there, um, which was great as well. Um, but really just having a positive attitude and knowing that um, we were blessed to have them at all. Um, that they were miracles in that sense, and that um, you know, the, the stronger we were and the more positive we were, the better her outcome was going to be. Now that they're both walking, Alita um, just started walking in May, so she was um, over a year and a half old when she kind of started walking, and now they walk in opposite directions. Um, but it's a lot of fun too. I mean, having having Lucy there as a twin for Alita to, to mimic and learn from, I mean, really helped her get over those developmental deficits that she had. Um, she was able to watch her and she wants to keep up with her and she wants to eat like her. And, you know, so having that twin has been a huge benefit for her um, with her medical development, so. Hi, my name is Leslie. I'm a physical therapist with the Birth of Three program. Birth of Three works specifically with kids with all different developmental um, concerns. Some twins come into the world a little bit earlier just because they're multiples and that can cause some developmental delays along the way, which varies greatly for every twin situation. So it's not uncommon for us to see one twin or both, just depending. It's, it's just helped give us a little bit more guidance and direction and, um, you know, things to kind of be focusing on and working on and um, helping her with when they're not here. I think what's really neat when working with multiples is that they like to copy each other, so you often have both playing with you at the same time, which is special because you can't exclude them. So it's just a little bit different than when you're just one-on-one. -on -one. So that's kind of the fun part. Probably one of the neatest moments so far was just like a week ago. Um, Alita's still in a crib and Lucy's in a toddler bed. 
and I put them both down for a nap and I was gonna close the door and I saw Lucy getting out of her toddler bed and so I kind of kept the door open a little bit and she went over to the crib and stepped up on the mattress and pulled herself up and gave Alita a kiss um, over the over her crib rail and then went back to her bed and laid down. So just like things like that, um, I think they'll have a special bond because they're, they're twins. Obviously all the medical stuff was, was very challenging. Um, I think the hardest part for me as a mom was missing out on the normalcy of a, a normal pregnancy, you know, having a baby going through delivery, um, taking them home from the hospital, getting to nurse them um, right away, or at least trying to. Um, so really missing out on those things um, was the hardest. You know, I mean, the medical stuff was definitely challenging, um, but you get through it, whereas I feel like I kind of missed out on that. Um, but at the same time, we're our own special story and they're you know, definitely miracles in themselves and that's what I need to focus on and celebrate. We'll be right back with more Moms Every Day. Next week on Moms Every Day. I struggled with infertility for five years before I had my son. Our panelists talk about infertility and we're learning about freezing eggs on the next Moms Every Day. Are you using social media to drive traffic to your business? Do you know what is being said about your business in your local community? Join the conversation. Your business can have a powerful presence on all of the world's top social networking sites with the power of Local X. Local X is a full service digital agency dedicated to local business. Together, we will maximize the growth of your organization in your community. Local X, your local digital marketing experts. Go online at localxmarketing.com. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. Next, Ellen, three words. Portia. Portia. Duh. Duh. Wussy. Wussy. Here's the reason I got you here. Who's the next person to die on scandal? You don't have to tell me. You don't have to just blink. And how about these two words? Duran. Duran. I shot a video with him in the 80s. All new Ellen. Wednesday afternoon at 4. Thirsty? You said it would make me cool. They don't sound cool to me. Guess not. You gotta stick up for yourself. Like with the name your price tool. People tell us their budget, not the other way around. Aren't you lactose intolerant? This isn't lactose, it's milk. Weather has its way, has the ability to change everything. We live with that here. Good thing one Wyoming station is always looking ahead for you. News 13 Weather. Chief Meteorologist Tyler Weir. Lauren Wells, morning and noon. Meteorologist Connor Lewis, weekends. Reaching your family wherever you are. Weather may have its way, but you have experts on your side. Use that experience, the experience of News 13 Weather. Everybody, today we are talking about snacks on the go. Whether you're a child or an adult, sometimes you need something throughout the day to nibble on. And I'm joined by one of our Moms Everyday bloggers. This is Allison Bickle, and she has This Homemade Life. We love your blog. Yes. Oh, thank you. And you have a new book, too. Yes, this mm -hmm. is a book that I photographed. Um, it's called The Best Kids Homemade Snacks on the Planet. So mm -hmm. it's 200 recipes of just snacks. And it ranges from fruit to veggies to popsicles you name it and it's probably in there. It's very kid friendly. I have I have three boys at home and they love to eat and they liked a lot of those recipes. So, so. they're tried and true, you know yes. they're gonna work. And this yes. is one of them, this is kind of a homemade uh, veggie dipping jar. It is. Okay. What I have is just a variety of some colorful vegetables here, some carrots, um, cucumbers kind of cut in matchsticks, um, yellow peppers and uh, snap peas and then um, our homemade ranch, and then you just need some small containers that have lids. Mm -hmm. uh, mason jars work well, uh, anything that has a lid. 
Okay, it's gonna work. Okay, you can store these for what? About a week? Yeah, or? you can you can store mm -hmm. these for a few days. They're they're great for ball games, an office snack, um, a snack at school. You could really you could even put these in lunches, and they oh. would work well too. So, what's your homemade dip? Then? Um, this is. Uh, whole milk Greek yogurt and a uh, little bit of mayo with um, garlic powder, onion powder, some salt, and dill. Dried dill. It's smells really good. Very clean. simple. Um, so what you want to do is just take a couple scoops, enough to kind of cover the bottom. This is a little bit of what holds the vegetables in place. Then, really, from this point, it's up to you. You, you set the veggies up on end however many carrots, peppers, you know, whatever your choice might be. Um, the only thing is that you kind of need to cut them so that your they lid, fit in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that your lid will fit. And you just stack them in there until you have a nice full jar and then um, put the lid on and you're ready to go. Good to go. Okay, yeah. I have to give one a try. Now you as a mom, I, I know it's busy. So what prompted you to try to think of healthy snacks? Well, I have, you know, Three boys are hungry all the time, and yeah. I want to fill. You know, I want to feed them. I want to feed them well, so that mm -hmm. they have energy to do the things that they want and to keep them healthy. Right. So I, and if you start them off on this path, yes, yeah, sure, it's gonna, yet. yeah, it it kind of develops that thinking, and sure, they're still gonna want cookies and ice cream and all that, which yeah. we should still have. You know, everybody needs treats, but if you have these as as good options, mm -hmm. then you, you know, if you have the good stuff, then you can have the fun stuff later. And it doesn't have to be more work. No, it does not. This is yeah. very simple. This is just a few cut vegetables and, and dip. And, it, and if you don't want to make the dip, there's always some good store-bought options as well. That's good dip. So thank you, Allison. Great <laughs> thank idea. You. It's fun. Diet and exercise only get you so far in achieving your optimal self-image. At Casper Plastic Surgery, we offer painless, non-invasive body contouring options from Vanquish, Ultra Shape, and Bella Shape. You can now safely and effectively shape and slim specific areas of your body that are unresponsive to normal exercise. Perfect for permanent fat reduction, skin tightening, and smoothing cellulite. There's no surgery and no downtime, just real results. Walk in, walk out, and get on with your day. Schedule a consultation today at Casper Plastic Surgery. What's inside the Spectrum Triple Play? All the brilliant HD, internet speed, and unlimited calling you need. Spectrum has all your favorite channels with the most free HD you can get, plus free primetime on demand to watch when you want. All for $29.99 a month. Call 844-883-2999. And only Spectrum surrounds you with the fastest internet, starting at 60 megabits per second. That's enough speed for all your devices with no data caps and a free modem for $29.99 a month. Call 844-883-2999. Then add unlimited nationwide calling with no added taxes or fees. Just $29.99 a month. Because nothing illuminates your home like the Spectrum Triple Play. Switch to Spectrum now for free HD, the fastest internet, and unlimited calling. Just $29.99 a month each with no contracts. Call 844-883-2999 today. It's midnight. Do you know where your mom is? Menopause sounds awesome. You're warm all the time. You're hot all the time. Hot all the time. You forget things all the time, so <laughs> nothing is really going to irritate you because it's soon forgotten. And you know what? You don't have to buy anything at the drugstore for that time of the month. <gasps> Saves you money. If I could make this happen now, I would. For more, visit MomsAfterMidnight.com. Thanks for joining us on Moms Every Day. We hope we gave you some great ways to make your life a little bit easier. Remember, you can find all of these stories at MomsEveryDay.com. See you next time.